Hello and welcome to Blackberry Ridge. We're in the garden now. Um, it is Saturday afternoon about 2.30. Sun's pretty high up in the sky. It's hot out here. I've got an ice bag around my belly and my big old hat on and I'm out here trying to put more, chip, more wood chips on the garden. But what I wanted to show you was one of my beds that um, I was taught this was called the Three Sisters of Garden. This bed that I'm showing you is four foot wide by 16 foot long. It has uh, one third vermiculite, one third compost, and one third peat moss in there. That's all I've put in it. Then what I did was that I purchased some Danny corn when I went to the Great Appalachian Con Conference from Danny and Wanda. Um, their channel is Deep South Homestead. And he had bags of corn seed, his own um, hybrid corn seed for sale. And I have put that bag, $2 worth, in here. And right now this corn is probably about um, between 6 and 8 foot tall. And it hasn't even tasseled yet. In the middle of this, I planted one Amish, one <laughs> Amish pie pumpkin. One. <laughs> and I put that in the middle and as you can see that one I'm saying one <laughs> Amish pie pumpkin vine has gone ape crazy I'm getting ready to gather up some of the blossoms I'll do that tomorrow morning the male ones and I'm going to put that into um, um, sort of a um, an egg pie and I'll stuff them with some mozzarella cheese um, <laughs> and as you can see this thing has gone crazy. <laughs> um, I am training it kind of the direction I want it to go or trying to train it the direction that I want it to go. And you, as you can see, we have um, one of the pumpkins here. And it is uh, turning orange. And we have several more inside of there that are coming on. <laughs> like I say, this is from one vine in the middle. So, okay, so we've got... The Danny corn, that's one of the three sisters, and we have the pumpkin, which is the second of the three sisters. And then if, I don't know if you can see around this, right here, growing up around the corn, I have my lima beans. The ones that we started in the toilet paper rolls. So they're growing up around everything. Now these three sisters work together so well. Oh, here's one a little baby, a little baby one that's coming on. Can you see it there? A little baby. Okay. So, so here's some more of here's some more of the lima beans that are growing up, and the corn stalk is what they're actually growing up. So, this is how the three sisters work, and you can see some of them are starting to bloom here. So I'm getting some some blooms on my lima beans <clears throat> that are climbing up. Something's eating on my corn right here too. Hmm. Um, and they're climbing up and climbing up and climbing up. And this one here, let's see how far I can reach. I'm reaching as far as I can reach. This is all the way up to here. That's probably a good over seven foot tall, but this one has grown. Okay, so here's how this works, the three sisters. Number one is the squash or the pumpkin or whatever you use for your bottom layer. Helps to keep the weeds down helps to keep the ground cool the second thing is is that the corn gives some place for the lima beans to grow so it gives them a place and these are the kind that are the climbing lima beans these are not the bush lima beans so it gives them some place for it to grow grow up and remember i told you that these lima beans will grow up to about 10 foot so we need something really really tall for this to grow up on oh if something is eating on my corn. I got to see what's got to keep my eye out. See what's munching on it. Um, and then the third thing is that the lima beans, um, they will go and they will put nitrogen into the soil. So the corn is helping the lima beans, giving them some place to grow, and and the lima beans are giving nitrogen back to the corn. So all three of them work hand in hand in hand together. And like I say, the Native Americans, and um, as you all know, I'm widowed, but my husband was Native American. 
And I just picked up a stock there. As you can see, I'm working on doing some more of the um, compost with the paper, the, the cardboard down, and doing it bucket by bucket by bucket by bucket with a short-handled shovel. Okay, so <laughs> the first year doing this is the hardest. After that, it's going to be okay. This is my cool spot. There is no shade. And, of course, this is what this garden looks like before when I started. I mean, it has grown up to nothing but weed. But as you can see uh, with the mulch, it helps a lot. <clears throat> so, three sisters. Try it. Now, another thing that I do <laughs> is, like I say, because there's no shade out in this garden anywhere, if I need a cool spot to sit, I will go and I will park myself right here because where the sun is, it is shading. So somewhere around the corn, I will park myself and pull out my ice water bottle, which I've got my ice water bottles in this, this uh, container here. So, <laughs> three sisters, give it a try. Um, you can use any type of legume. You can use green beans, um, anything with a vine that will grow up your corn. Um, <laughs> I'm really tickled and amazed at how ape crazy these vines have gone. Because they have just gone and gone and gone and gone. They've just grown. Anyway, as always, I want to tell you all, thank you so much. For tuning into this channel and watching me ramble on hopefully I, I can teach you all something every once in a while have some maybe I can give you just some enjoyment something to to uh, watch for a few minutes and take yourself away from the stress of your life please pray for our country God please bless America America please bless God I ask all these things Anyway, <laughs> thanks again for coming to Blackberry Ridge. This is Vivian Ann on the side of the mountain in northeast Tennessee.